Hi everybody, my name is Keaton and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we did the side quest with the secret room to the, the, rock, the rock rust or dust. And we're still continuing on to do some side quests. So today is going to be different as we are still continuing to do a side quest. You can tell there's some stamps all around, but... Depends what I wanted to do is I wanted to find all the champion weapons. So So for that if you remember I mentioned <clears throat> I wanted to have 13 diamonds, which I now do So so because of that now I can start doing the side quest with all the champions weapons And we will start the beginning of where I'm at so I have my game guy to help me out with finding some more weapons because there are a lot of weapons and all the things that I need help to to find for and locate. So I guess you should guess you could say we will start heading there. Watch out from the enemies. Alright, I don't wanna mess with you. Alright. So I'll go ahead and I'm gonna drop the sword. Don't need that anymore. What? No! I don't want that stupid sword. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. There we go. Wow, good job, me. You failed on getting the- Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Well, that's enough of that now. <laughs> Let's go to the Goron City before I get myself injured more. <laughs> Because I do not want to get into a mess. I definitely do not want to get in a mess in the first place. So, yeah, now it's time for me to eat. I gotta eat my food right now. Uh, okay, so... I don't see why not I could eat that. I don't like hard-boiled egg in real life. I know, I know I'm weird, but it's true. Alright, so let me see what else I can eat. I wanted to eat something that's help that's helping. Alright. I guess I'll I'll eat up the the raw meat. I'll get Link to have a a bad stomach ache, you could say. I'll eat this one and that. And then this one. And I'll eat the the, the zap shroom. Oh yeah, the start is for the, the side quest, or yeah, something for later. But okay, right now I want to look for... Yeah, it's right here. Right here, actually. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to equip out the Cobble Crusher. And uh, we're going to talk to him here, so... Master Rohan, please let me try making that boulder breaker again. You've got some gale, kid. After you have been left the workshop in the middle of training, fierce marbled rock roast. What's it? I'm done with you. I've got no excuses, but I still need to put the finishing touches on that boulder breaker first. Let me prove myself. A please, if it's still no good, then you can be done with me. Well... You've got your enthusiasm and that counts for something, but without materials, how do you intend to do this? You'll need a cobble crusher, five pieces of flint, and three diamonds to complete it. Since you spent all our materials funds on marbled rock roast, we're dried up, we don't have money or materials. Mm. I, I'll just uh, do something about that. And now we have a side quest, Soul of the Gorons. Now I talked to them again, so I was trying to be optimistic about the materials for the boulder breaker. I need a couple crusher, five flint pieces and three diamonds. With, without any money, I have no idea how I'll come up with the materials. I'll give you the materials. What? You just give them to me? Thank you. I was at a total loss. This is a huge help. So, you, you really have it all. What? Thank you. Now, I can make a good, proper boulder breaker. Yeah. Master Rohan, watch me do this. I'm gonna complete the boulder breaker and it's gonna be perfect. Huh? I'll put my heart into it, pound into life. 
This is the work. This is the work of the cobble crusher. Master, take a look. Hmm. Hmm. I don't even need to touch it, you know. That rocky luster that will craft handle. That blunt yet sturdy edge. You've done good, Fugo. I've seen many a uh, boulder breaker in my time, but this? This is one of the finest. Thank you so much, Master. I've never gotten praise from you before. You had your head on crook for a while, but you seemed up to snuff now. Looks like there's nothing left I can teach you from here on out. This forge is yours. Starting today, you'll be standing where I've stood for many a year. Master. And you, you helped too. Without the materials, I'd never been able never have able been able to do this. As things, I'd like you I'd like for you to have this boulder breaker. And now we got ourselves a boulder breaker. My customers are my top priority. That means you should come back if, here if you breaks on it, on ya. I'll need materials, but I'll make it again just as good as before. And with that, everybody, that completes the side quest with Soul of the Gorons. So, yes, this is the Boulder Breaker. If you guys remember from Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, that's, this is the weapon that Druk, the Goron champion, carries. It looks pretty awesome right here. So, now we got that. One down. There's three more left to go. So, let me put back my... I'm gonna put back my... I'll equip my weapons back. Oh yeah, I, I need to delete, let me delete that. And then I want to put on the cold resistance because we're going to be heading somewhere that's going to be cold. So I need a snow boots right here. So that'll be somewhere at the, the flight range. So let us go there and get ourselves a bow. So here we are at the tower, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, follow this green pin. It's actually close that I'm heading to right now to get ourselves a weapon that it's going to be important. Now this is the part of the time that we come here to see Tiba in Breath of the Wild. And yeah, I'm sure you guys remembered. Oh yeah, I need to like, uh, I'll drop this bow and carry the swallow bow. So I'll, I'm just gonna be carrying like this. Well, I'll put on the tunic of the wild set. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Let me delete the pin and go to the retail village. So, whoops. So let us go to the retail village and find t to talk to. Now, as long as you got all the diamonds and all the other stuff with you, you'll be okay. Because right now, uh, as I'm gonna take a look with the the diamonds, I only have like ten now, so I so I should be able to have more. So I think I'll be okay that I have four, and I also got more woods. Whoops. So I'm okay as well. Oh wait, it's right here. It shows me to ascend through that. So I made it. So I made it up top here. So yes. Now we need to go all the way upstairs to talk to Tiba as he's... Yeah, he's somewhere there with Tulin. Uh... We're almost there. There he is. Here's both of them. So this calls for a new bow, Tiba says. So let's huh. talk to him. So, uh, I was proud to bequeath my great eagle bow to my fully fledged son, of course. But it does leave me without the bow I've used for so long. Hmm. An elder shouldn't go unarmed, so I'll be crafting myself another one as soon as I can. The bow I gave to him was a masterpiece. After so many years of use, it was like another length for me. <laughs> But I think I have in my have it in me to craft one just as good. Mm -hmm. If you want your own great eagle bow, I wouldn't mind crafting one for you to uh, too while I'm at it. I'll need a swallow bow, five bundle of woods, and three diamonds. <laughs> Those materials might not be easy to come by, but 
If you can collect the ball, then the bow is yours. Hmm. Oh, you already have the materials I need. Then I can get to work on the bow right away. Diamonds don't come cheap, though. Are you certain I can use them? Go ahead. Hmm. Understood. Handle those materials here on my... On my honor. I'll make you a bow worthy of the retail. Why, even the retail's finest craftsman, Hearth, vouches for my work. I'll make you a masterpiece as good as in any of his. Alright, and the same thing just like before. So that was a part of a side quest for him. Oh, now he's holding it. It's all finished. Here you are. This great eagle bow is for you, Link. I'm pleased with it, with how it turned out. Use it in help. And now we got the great eagle bow. Hmm. If the bow ever breaks, return here and let me know. So long as you, we get we can get the materials, I'll make you another one. So legacy of the Rito. So that was a part of a side quest. So we have now completed it. And hey, guess what, Tule? I have a I have another great eagle bow with me. Except yours is, is now different. Because, yeah, this bow right here belongs to Revali, the retail champion from Breath of the Wild. And there's a lot here. This is what I like to show this off to you now. So, yes, we are now done with that. There are two more left to go. So, I'm going to delete this. Uh, let me get my, my shield and sword back. So, we can... Continue on. Next, what we need to go to is here. So I'll teleport myself there from that shrine and get us to the next one. So I'm inside a cave, but I'll be out of the cave here soon. By using a Sind. Oh wait, there you go. Help me get out of this cave. What? <laughs> I like to joke about that. So let's see, the blue one is the, the Zora one that I, put, that I put the pin down. So I'm gonna go there right now. Alright. Don't mind about the enemies, oh, I'm gonna drop down once I get onto the bridge. Which I would say here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip out... Yeah, it doesn't matter which bow I can use. So, I'll use the, the knight's bow. Oh, you know what? Uh... Shock ya! I'll be taking what's mine. So I'm gonna drop... So I'm gonna drop the spear. And take the, the Zora spear with me. So, now I got that with me. I'm just going to equip this and remove the shield. And let us go make our way to back to the Zora's Domain right here. So let us go there so we can upgrade the spear. So here I am at the Zora's Domain. I'll be, I'll be taking the crab here because it's right here. There we go. And I will ascend through top of the bridge here. So here you are. Sorry for scaring you. So as we come here, we're, we're gonna like come in here. Oh, he has something in mind about the crabs. I'll get to that. Uh, right now, I want to talk to this one. So you have come. So let's talk to him. So Link, once again, you have done Zora's Domain a great service. Thanks to, to the efforts of you and our young King Sidon, the, the domain has been saved. You must allow me to thank you. Link, if you intend to go up against the Vara's phenomena plaguing this world, you need a weapon that is up to the task. The light scale Triton has been passed down through generations of the Zoras since ancient times. If you do not fail you, bring me the necessary materials and I will craft one for you with all due haste. You must acquire a Zora spear, three diamonds, and five pieces of flint. Even a Zora spear that is decayed with surface. Do you have the required materials? If so, I will get to work. I want the Triton. You have required all of the materials. This will not take long. And now, he will do the work. Nice one. The light scale Triton, I am entrusting it to you. 
And there you go, we got it. If it becomes broken or lost, or it has otherwise disappeared from this world, I will remake it for you. So that was Glory of the Zora, which we have completed the side quest. Alright, I'll talk to him in a sec. I want to show this off right now about the Triton. This belongs to Mifa, the Zora champion from Breath of the Wild. So you can see uh, what this is look like. So, really awesome about that. So there's only like one more left, and that's going to be with the, the Gerudo, which, I, which I'm going to get to. But first, he has something in mind about the crabs. I don't know what crabs he's talking about, because I got more of a bright-eyed crab, so... Let's talk to him. So, uh, this is our general store, the Coral Reef. <laughs> we were finally able to restock our fish, thanks to His Majesty King Sidon and you, the Courageous Link. You really helped us out of a pinch. Anyhow, if you see something you like, please just crab it from the table. Oh, oh, unless you have some other business with me, tell me, and I shall not dwaddle. Crabs, eh? <laughs> oh, perhaps I am not doing a suffocant job of hiding my overpowering feelings about bright-eyed crabs. Oh. You see, I met a bright-eyed crab right around the time all of the nonsense with the sludge came to an end. I was unable to stock any fish because of the damage caused by the sludge, and then it appeared. It was a single glorious crab. It crossed my path while I was fussing and fumming. Uh, I was irritated. I was famished. And so, mm -hmm. I swallowed it whole. Yeah, yes, the spikes were incredibly painful, but once I was able to transcend the pain, there was the, there was magic awaiting me. No more like it was greeting me with a warm hug or sa of savior. I mean, uh, uh, I'm at, um, I mean, goodness, it was the tastiest thing, perhaps ever. Oh, I'm, I am positively drooling just thinking about it. One or two is enough, but not nearly. No, I need ten. Could you please give me ten of those decandid bright crabs? <laughs> Naturally, I shall make it worth your while. Your while. This transaction or this transaction will surely keep me from becoming crabby. Crab? I have the crabs. Ooh. Really? Would you be willing to give me 10 bright crabs? Please. Sure. I got like 21, so 10 claw inspiring crabs. Oh, yes, crab gower. Just gazing upon them, I can feel that umami goodness washing over the intense pain in my mouth. Mm. <laughs> you have my thanks. In fact, here, since this is our first crab trade, I threw in a little bonus until we meet again. And we got a sapphire. Oh. When you gather more bright eyed crabs, Please let me know. At the time, I will make a trade for some products that are equal and vow to the number of crabs. You shall have... <laughs> so that was a crabulous deal. That's pretty funny to say this. So there we go. We have actually completed a side quest. Alright, that was that was pretty easy uh, to do that side quest. Now we got that done. Now we're going to move on to the, the last one for the weapons. It's for the Gerudo, which is over there. So I'm gonna like, hmm, let's see. Uh, I think I'll teleport myself there. Uh, sure. I'm gonna teleport the one at the stable and get us to do the last weapons. While we do side quests with the weapons, I'm sure there might be other characters who might have in mind about the side quest, which I won't forget that I'm gonna keep this in mind. So right now I'm putting on my, uh, yeah, this, the, the heat resistance on, because it's warm. It's like we're in summer. Oh gosh. Uh, I was gonna ascend through that, but I, fell, but I fell all the way down. And I could still ascend through all the way. So this will not be a big of a deal. I will not have too much complaints about this, because I can still go up. Okay. There you go, I'm just like... waiting for... for my stamina to replenish. So here you go, we're climbing up. But yeah, this is pretty f 
fun thing to do. I know how long that's gonna take, like, I don't know. I'm probably just saying stuff. I don't know why, but... But either way, I'm pretty happy excited that I'm doing this because uh, it's gonna give us the memories that we that we had to carry that we had to carry ever since Breath of the Wild. There's a lot of flashbacks. What's going on from the first game that we are that we are now here in Tears of the Kingdom. All right, so I am now coming to that spot there. Like I'm heading towards there. So I'm just, just gonna keep going. I'm gonna climb, I'll go up here. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna ascend. That's gonna be more options for me to do. I can just climb through, I'll just go through the ceiling instead. And, and uh, get on the bridge over there. Let's see. Over there. Yes, it's this. Alright, let's see what we have. Oh yes, a Gerudo shield, which... Even though I've already got all the Gerudo shield, but I'm gonna take the one that's from... That's from here. So I'm gonna drop the Forest Dweller and take the Gerudo. I'll take the the new of the Gerudo shield. While I'll while I will come here to get ourselves uh, the sword, because I because I know that's what the Gerudo uh, the Gerudo carries the weapons for. So this will not be too bad. All right, so I gotta be careful about this. So. I'm gonna go ahead and clip out this boat. Alright, hey Riju. Yeah, let's go Riju. Okay, three, two, one. Oh gosh, battle time then. We're getting ready to battle. Okay, they should have... Okay, they should have something I need. I need to like... Oh yeah, you. You, the one you're holding. You're the one that I, that I want. It's the weapon you're holding. Alright. There we go. Gerudo Cemetery is what I'm here for, so I will drop, uh, let's see what I can drop. Uh, I'm gonna drop the, I'm gonna drop this one in. Oh good, did I, okay, I'm like, did I grab it? But I did, okay. Okay, I'm gonna cook out everything. But I'm gonna get out of here and go to the Gerudo Desert, so... Let us go make our way to the, the Gerudo Desert, because... Or not Gerudo Desert, the Gerudo Town! Sorry. Sorry, I meant to say like the Gerudo Town. We are in the, the Gerudo uh, Desert. But the part what I meant to say is the, the Gerudo Town that we have to come here for. So that was my fault that I, that I just mixed it up. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and, uh, alright, so I guess she has something in mind right now, but let's go ahead and, uh, talk to her, so where could she be, she asks, so, where did the owner, hmm? Oh, you're the chief's guest, hmm, so this is Vel, his ears look to be about, and the circumference, and the circumference of his head and neck, interesting. Oh, I'm sorry, you're the first Vel I have ever seen. I've got a little carried away figuring out your measurements. Why, why, why was I doing that? Well, this is the jewelry shop. I make accessories, and the key to any good uh, sorcery is a perfect fit. My name's Kara. I haven't had a lot of opportunities to make accessories for a vote. So if you've, if you've, so 
If you give me the chance, I'll put everything I've got into making some really great wands for you. Mm. If this shop's owner were here, she probably could have made you all sorts of things. But she went out to look for potential adornments and hasn't come back since. She was in such high spirits too, gushing about all the treasure she'd find around the Toruma dudes. That's a dangerous place though, Moduga territory. I hope she didn't run into trouble. The missing owner, so we have a side quest for this. Uh. Anyway, did you need something? The owner may not be here, but I'll be I'll do what I can. Uh I, I would say goodbye for this. <laughs> Come back soon. We're the only place in the whole world that makes accessories. Alright. So missing owner. So we need to go to like Toruma Dune. That's where we need to go to. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna switch to use a different weapon while I'll be carrying like a bow like this one. All right. So let's see here, where is the, the Toruma? It's somewhere in the Gerudo Desert. Oh, so, oh, this is it right here. I wish I could have, oh well. It's fine. Uh, it, it's gonna be hot there, so I need to put on my... So I gotta put everything back on that I wear when I, when I arrived. Okay. Oh, whoops. So let us go make our, make our way there. Because this is something what we need to do for what's up. And here we are in the, at the desert. Like, we are on the Garuda Desert. Alright, so it's somewhere like here. I'm gonna do yellow because yellow is the fitting for the Gerudo because Gerudo is like yellow. Alright, I don't care if you guys have saw me or not, but I suggest you all leave me alone. I see a campfire, which means... Oh, there's Moduga there. Okay, so what tells me from Moduga, I have to use like one of the... the, the time... Uh, the time bomb, like right here. All right, let's see if this. What? Oh well, it did got it, but it didn't get all. Of it. Oh well, I didn't know we have a Gerudo here actually. Okay, maybe I should have like. Oh, I can't pick it up. I'll use a bomb flower for this, which right now it's gonna go under. Nice. Okay. Okay, let's do this, guys. Come on. Let's all be a teamwork here. Like fighting. You guys are doing pretty good right now. Oh, here we go. Gotcha. There we go. We have got it. We defeat Molduga. So that's perfect. We have done it now. The the Molduga, it's gone? It is. Hi, you must be Kara. Or, oh no, you're Aisha. Sorry, uh, you. Did you get rid of the Bolduga? I sure did. I can't believe you were able to defeat it. You must be incredibly strong. I never dreamed I'd run into a vole like you way out here. This must be fate. Don't you agree? Ah. Oh, I'm, I'm Aisha. I'm Ashia. I ran the jewelry shop in Gerudo Town. I came all the way out here to find some special things to add to jewelry. But before I knew it, somehow I wandered right into the Bolduga's territory. If you hadn't shown up, I have been its lunch. Since you saved me, you have to let me give you a fitting reward. <laughs> this might come as a surprise, but I'm actually the Gerudo's best blacksmith. If you come visit my shop in Gerudo Town, there is something special that I can craft for you. Oh wait, he's a bow, so he can't even get into town, huh? But if he c could beat that monster mm -hmm. a bit. I can feel fate's pull between us. I'm sure we'll meet again. 
All right, I'm going to ha head back to town now that I don't have a Moduga to worry about. All right, well, she's gonna come back. And I just went to the Gerudo town uh, as a voter, and we don't have problems with that anymore. All right, so we got that. Now we could go make our way back to the the Gerudo town, and I'm gonna eat something because I'm already because I already took a damage. I got hit for that, so so I'm gonna so I'm telling myself to eat. Like I'm gonna eat that one, and then uh, I'll eat the half of the acorn, and then I'll eat the let's see, I'll eat the egg. All right. Delete that pin, and then we're gonna come back to the Gerudo town. Let's stop by and see what's up. And here I am back at the Gerudo town. Hopefully they're still around. I can just... Okay. I think they're still here. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be here. I say that because it's like the sun is setting. It's almost nighttime. But okay. So... I had no idea you were in such... Hmm? <laughs> well, look who it is. The owner tells me you rescued her from a Moduga. Truly, here's a little something to reward your bravery. And that is we get a diamond. Oh. I still can't believe you took on such a huge monster in one. Howie and Vel are pretty impressive. Ah. It's because of you that I was able to make it back to town. I knew I'd see you again, of course, but I wasn't sure it would be here. And even more surprising, not only do you mean something special to me for saving my life, but you also are special to Lady Riju. You are one of a kind bow, aren't you? I'd like to reward you as well. But my reward is a little involved, so you do mind coming to talk to me when you have some time? Alright, the missing owner is complete. Alright, but yes, we're gonna continue to talk to her. So everyone, including me, has been able to get back to our normal lives, and it's all because of you. You know, we all owe you a great debt, and I think I can begin to repay it by crafting the Arms of the Seven for you. They are a sword and shield passed down by the Gerudo, and they can only be wielded by a chosen individual. <laughs> I'm talking about the Scimitar of the Seven, and the Daybreaker, of course. They're crafted using a special technique known only to me, and I have chosen you to carry them. Will you let me make the Arms of the Seven for you? Yes, please. <laughs> That's the spear. Okay, then. I just need you to gather some materials for me. Can you do that? Truth be told, I'd like to gather the materials for, materials for you myself, but it is the duty of the barrier of the arms to do that. Mm -hmm. I need four diamonds, ten pieces of flint, a Gerudo scimitar, and a Gerudo shield. Even a decayed Gerudo scimitar will do the trick. Okay then, once you've gathered all those materials together, come and talk to me, okay? Which I already got more, so this is a pride of the Gerudo, so we're gonna talk to her oh. again. So You're not just my savior, you're the savior of all the Gerudo. It would be an honor to make the arms of the seven for you. Let's get to crafting. Okay. okay then, let me just make sure you have everything I'll need. Four diamonds, ten pieces of flint, a Gerudo scimitar, and a Gerudo shield. Hee <laughs> hee, <laughs> I knew you could do it. This is everything I need to get to work. Give me just a minute. Alright. Now she will do the work for us, which is really, really good. Really helpful, appreciate. Nah. I poured all my heart into making these. Here, take them. They are a true symbol of the gratitude of the Gerudo. And we got the Scimitar of the Seven. <laughs> I wish you good fortune in your travels. And a Daybreaker as well. Awesome. Ah. You're the second person I've made those for Lady Riju was the first. My, my ex-sister even made them for the champion of the Gerudo some time ago. That really just goes to show how amazing they are. It'll make me happy if you take good care of them. Mm -hmm. But I did make them to to be used, so don't feel like you need to pursue them. Should they ever be irretrievably lost, just bring me the materials again and I'll remake them for you. And also, you can come and see me whenever you like, even if you don't need anything. <laughs> May the blessing of the Gerudo be upon you. So now we have complete the side quest, Pride of the Gerudo, which we are still doing more side quests all around. But check it out! This is the, the Cemetery of the Seven and... Oh, hold on. Uh, the Cemetery of the Seven here. And the other one is the Daybreaker. Both of them are pat... Both of them belong to Rebosa, the Gerudo Champion. 
So this is what uh, what we have now. And we are now officially done with all the, the, the champion's weapons. So this is a really good thing to do. What I could do with them now, um, I yeah I haven't explored to find more frogs, but I did see some frogs for the for the most part. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make myself way back, back home, uh, right here, uh, to the Akikawa, so I can uh, place them where I wanted to put them at. For today's, you know, this is going to be a good episode right now, honestly. There are just things I'm happy with, how it's turning out. But anyways, <laughs> if you remember from Breath of the Wild when I did a Let's Play, after I got all the weapons from the champions, I go into my house at Hantano Village to place them there. And because of that, and because now I got the weapons that I did the side quest with, I'm going to come into my house, do the same exact like I did with Breath of the Wild, as this time I have a new house, new home here in this game. So yeah, we have a display here. And the goddess statue that we can pray. Right here, we can place any weapons. So I think this is the the shield or what? You know what? I think this one here is the weapons. That one is the bow. And that one's the shield. So... I'm gonna start the beginning of. I'm gonna start the beginning of the the weapons that I did a let's play on Breath of the Wild. Or actually, you know what? I'm gonna start the beginning that that I start to find the weapons, uh, to, for the video. So, so the first off, we have a Boulder Breaker. That weapon belongs to Daruk, the Goron Champion, which he is my favorite. So display it. And there you go. We have it like upside, we have it like this way. So that's awesome right here. Now the next weapon, it's the bow. And that is the Great Eagle Bow. It, it belongs to Rivali, the retail champion. So there you go. We have it placed it here. All right, there are two more left to do, and that is uh, the next weapon is the light scale trident. It belonged to Mifa, the Zora champion. Place it right here, and voila! It's it it works it works fitting right here. And now the last but not least, we have. We have both of Cemetery 7 and Daybreaker. They both belong to Rebosa, the Gerudo Champion. So let us all place it here together. So here is Cemetery 7. And this one, Daybreaker. So there you go. You can Now you can see I have placed all the weapons on a display uh, from the Divine Beast Champions that that they were that they were around in Breath of the Wild, which technically, yeah, it, I played Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity, which which it was a prequel before Breath of the Wild, but as Breath of the Wild, after 100 years ago of some accident happens, they both died in spirits and left us with those weapons around, and then after years passed on. With things changed, we still find them, and we put it on the display. So we have officially put everything there, and I think for this one... Oh yes, I'm gonna place the Traveler's Shield here. This will be the memory of the time from Breath of the Wild with the trailer, which I, re which I really like about. And, uh... Yeah, I think I'll figure something out later. Now, if I had a, a Traveler's Bow, which I don't, uh, I probably would have placed it there. Um, but it's okay, because what I wanted to do... Uh, uh, since I got more of a d d Dusk Bow, I have three. I'm gonna put... 
I'm gonna put this one here. This will be a reminder that's from The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. When Link, uh, when Link and Zelda were on on a horse named Epona, we were on a, the, the horse battle with Ganondorf. And that's what happens. So let me see here. Uh, I think that's it. Maybe if I scan Amiibo, if I got another Seabreeze shield, I I could I probably I could probably would have placed it over there. So I don't have anything to place for the weapons, but but it's okay because I'm happy how things I like to put at, and I'm and I'm happy and I like how it the way it looks. So so I hope you guys like the way I I put everything around. And, and you know, this is gonna be another short video as it's only like f over 40 minutes like I did. Um, but I'm more happy with how I, I love to put things out. You know, the memories from the past since Breath of the Wild. And then things have, we can now start a new life in this game, Tears of a Kingdom, with a new house, new stuff, everything's new. So, I'm really happy how this is. This really is, and I just stand. I just went up the table on accident, and my heart started, and I got scared for a minute because I feel like the blood moon is gonna rise. Like, like is there even a blood moon coming? I don't see it. I don't see a blood moon around. However, I do have a pony right here. This is the Tears of a Kingdom one, so I decided just want to put her there. While the one I the one I have for Breath of the Wild, I'll have it around with me for, for the you know, to travel whatever I want to go to. But all right, I don't see any blood mood around. I'm gonna find I'm gonna find out and see what happens. Maybe if I go to sleep, and I just went over to have something I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go and sleep until morning. All right, let's see. Does the blood moon uh arrive? Cause I don't see a blood mood, but I feel like it's gonna come around and it's gonna make it sound any second. Uh... Okay, no, we're good. No blood mood. Yay. Okay, well, we're good. We are all good and happy. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, I, I promise I'll make sure next episode we're gonna continue on to do more side quests. Uh, I know we're already at like part 62. I'm starting to have a good. F I'm starting to have a feeling uh, we're probably going to be going up to 100 episodes of this Let's Play. Uh, since Breath of the Wild, there was like 50 episode parts, but since we're already on episode 62, I think we're still gonna. I think we're gonna be passing through to 100. Who knows? Um, but yeah. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this. If you do, please do me a favor, drop a like for this video. If you are new to my channel and haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so y'all can be notified on when I can post videos on YouTube. Feel free to leave a comment down below, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!